dear friends welcome back to the tourism lecture series today we are going to talk about ecotourism planning ecotourism planning generally consists of environmental planning and tourism planning environmental planning basically consists of conservations of nature resources as well as environment impact assessment similarly tourism planning consists of the area development and social assessment the major difference between ecotourism plan and policy is what planning is a kind of proposed course of action it's a kind of predetermined things proposed course of actions to manage the scarce resources or limited resources whatever available to you and how to utilize it for getting the suitable output or as per the predetermined objective so planning is a what proposed course of action which is initiated to get the to achieve the suitable output or you can say which is initiated to achieve the what aim and objective of the ecotourism planning in case of ecotourism planning when we talk or any any objective of the management or organization so that is what planning so planning also involves it includes the managing of resources it includes the managing of manpower whether it's a economic resource whether it's a human resource whether it's environmental resource natural or cultural resource so planning includes all material man money machine material so planning is a what it's a kind of proposed course of action where is policy is a plan of action okay policy is a plan of action which is executed by the help of strategy okay by the help of strategic plan okay so planning helps in execution of policy so policy is basically a plan of action clear which is executed by the help of different plan so by formulating different strategy clear so those strategy we are going to discuss those strategies and approach are here okay that how to execute your plan in what way you should plan okay how to execute your policies so there are different types of approaches when it comes for planning or stages like for example when it comes for the stages of planning so we can go from e0 to e5 level where environment eco friendly skill is zero is the minimum and five is the highest standard of eco tourism activity it represents the highest one same in case of when it comes for approach which approach will follow so we have system approach comprehensive approach integrated approach environmental approach community based approach implementable approach and systematic approach so we'll discuss one by one what is major difference between all these approaches right let's talk about first about the eco tourism planning what does it mean what is eco tourism planning now we know the eco tourism is different from any other types of tourism activity why because eco tourism consists of what responsible to eco tourisms what eco tourism focuses on responsibility responsible tourism activity okay it's not about that you go somewhere and you throw here garbage you throw there you go for littering or vandalism no eco tourism whenever eco tourist is there he will always focus about the on the environmental standard okay he will never try to damage the ecosystem of that area he will always think about the ecological balance of that area that even he is going to interfere in some other zone in some even cultural zone or whether it's a natural zone so he will multiple times he will think many times he will think that whether i should do this or not do's and don'ts okay why because they are more sensitive tourist okay so more sensitive kind of feeling will come when you talk about the responsibility will come when it comes talk about the eco tourism so eco tourism is a you can say environment friendly tourism environment friendly tourism activity now okay so when we use the word eco with tourism it becomes automatically environment friendly it means not only we talk about the tourism development in terms of social assessment social economical impact like employment generation tax generation revenue generations right but also we talk about not only the area development the infrastructure will come road rail uh, airport or whether it's a big big building hotels and all it will come so but also we talk 
about a money exchange, foreign currency will come, revenue will generate. So not only we talk about this, but we our main focus in ecotourism that we talk about the resource conservation, we talk about the environment protection, we talk about the environment impact assessment in different way. Okay, so there are on the climate of that area, on the geography of that area, on the wildlife of that area. Okay, water on site, off site impact, the community of that area. So we go for impact assessment in various way. So here, when we plan for ecotourism, when we design any activities, when we think that our our program is ecotourism based program, then we must consider the environmental factors. Okay, in our planning. Otherwise, in tourism planning, generally we think about social impact, okay, social impact, economical impact, and physical impact broadly. Okay, social means when you go, you interact with the society, you will exchange culture and exchange that will impact. Okay, A physical impact means when tourism tourists will come, money will come automatically, the infrastructure will come, road will improve, power will come, building will come, employment will. Economical impact means employment generations. Money generations. Do you understand? Tax generation. So that is what and the area development. That is what tourism. Because of tourism, tourists will come. So they will bring foreign currency. Because of that, the person's lifestyle will improve. It will give impact. When money will come, automatically it will give impact. Right? So infrastructure will. But this is not. We are not limited up to this tourism planning. We have to focus on the other standard when we talk about the. The moment we use the word ecotourism, eco, it means we need to think many times that whether they, it, this particular activity has environmental components or not. It is taking care about the environmental need or not. It is going to assess the impact on environment and local community and culture or not. This is what we talk when we go for the ecotourism planning. Now you understand my point? So what is the basic difference between ecotourism planning and general tourism planning? Already we discussed many times that tourism is a what process when it comes for the UNWTO, United Nations World Tourism Organization. It says that tourism is a process where a person escapes from one place to another place in search of some change. They want to experience some change, that's why they are escaping from one place to another place. So when the people will come, okay, they go, they will stay. But the thing is that if anybody is going and traveling, going from one place to another, it is tourism. No, then they are, they are using the word, provided this, he is going to stay there for not less than 24 hours and not more than 365 days. Means the person, if he is going somewhere, he has to stay minimum 24 hours. Okay, and he, is, he should not cross the one year time. If he cross the one year, that will be also not tourism. And if he returns back within 24 hours, that is also not tourism. Because tourism must have impact. Okay, on society, on nature, on economically or socially, it should give impact. So the person is going and coming back, it will not give that much of impact on that area where he is going to visit. Right, so he must stay. Okay, when he stay, he will consume food. He will pay for the hotel bills, he will pay for the restaurant bill, he will interact, he will buy some souvenirs. So more time he spend, more impact he will give on destination. But this is what there, there is no obligation that if tourist is going, so he has to abide by the rules and regulation, uh, he can't damage or this, that. Of course there are certain rules, but there is nothing like that, they, this tourist they never follows. But when the moment that we use the word ecotourism, ecotourism means environment friendly tourism. It means a person is going, ecotourism a process where person is going to what? Involve himself or herself in the responsible tourism activities. Okay? Clear? In sustainable way. Not only he will visit that place, but he will also contribute in the sustainable development of that area and there will be a impact on the livelihood of that particular area, okay? And they will, they will think about more in terms of environment, they will take care about environment, they will take care about conservations and all. That's what when it comes for the ecotourism planning activity. So that is the major difference. Like for example, you, when you are planning a hotel, so simply you constructed the hotels, okay? But when you plan a ecotourism, eco-lodge, eco-lodge and hotels is different, okay? Eco-resorts, eco-lodge is different, means environmentally friendly hotels, ecotels, ecotels are environment friendly hotels, clear, whereas 
जनरल होटल्स आर नॉट एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली होटल्स ओके इको लॉज और इको होटल्स आर एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली बिकॉज दे ऑलवेज टेक केयर ऑफ द मेटेरियल दे आर यूजिंग फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन दैट इज एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली ओके सो शैम्पू दैट दे आर गिविंग यू इन साइड द होटल दैट इज ऑल्सो एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली वाटर दे आर यूजिंग इट कैन बी रिसाइकल पावर दे आर यूजिंग दे मे रन द पावर ऑन द सोलर एनर्जी सिस्टम विंड एनर्जी सिस्टम क्लियर दे कंज्यूम एंड देन दे आर सप्लाइंग यू पावर एंड इट इज कमिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी एंड यू आर एंजॉइंग सो दे आर यूजिंग ऑल एनवायरमेंट फ्रेंडली टेक्निक्स क्लियर इफ देर वेस्ट इज इन किचन और आफ्टर कुकिंग तो दे आर वेस्ट शुड नॉट गो आउट साइड इट मस्ट बी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड Do you understand my point? So they they believe in all environment friendly activities, starting from the materials they are using from construction. They will not damage. They are constructing their resorts, but they will there will be minimal damage to that area. They will not cut all trees. In in fact, they will try to cut the minimum trees, or they will try to include that tree also while constructing the hotels, resorts, or restaurants, or planning any activities. Do you understand my point? Or constructing a watchtower from where you can see the wildlife, so they will not damage. In fact, they will try to make some tower in in attachment with the tree, so that there will be no cut of tree. Do you understand? So there should be minimum damage. Where even if even there is a walkway inside the park, they will not cut all trees. They will cut and they will just create a big road. No, they will think that they should cut the minimum so that people can go and walk. Do you understand? so there are many things which is different from the normal tourism site planning and environment tourism eco tourism planning now you understand my point clear whether you develop a park national park a biosphere reserves or any or whether you go for the cultural tourism for some village so that village should not be converted into the modern town that is not eco tourism that village should remain intact as it is only we have to focus on how to save their culture there are elements of culture do you understand how to contribute by providing by involving tourist and by by involving the government or other stakeholders so that's what when it comes for the eco tourism okay so now we talk about the system approach what is system approach so let's first differentiate between system and systematic approach system approach where you have you have to collect the adequate information regarding the process you need to understand that what exactly you want to do okay so this is what system approach where you follow the, you want to collect the adequate informations about the system that how to operate the eco tourism or which activity i want to start okay if i want to go for boat ride so boat ride what is where you want to go for boat ride in lake or river or where so you, or it's a big ocean so you have to find out you have to find out the adequate information about the boating okay about the equipments about the services how to design it so adequate information about the system need to be understand okay and in the system approach we we normally use technology like computer technology is normally used to monitor the activities to plan the activities okay to find out the adequate informations okay regarding this planning and also system approach basically we find out try to understand the system of that particular uh, activities and also we take the help of systems like computer technology or any other software or hardware this is what the system approach when it comes for systematic approach systematic approach is it's kind of orderly designed activities means already we have designed that that this is the first activity second third fourth five so total 50 steps we have designed suppose we want to do this particular program for to execute this program we have designed we have we have formulated 50 steps okay 50 steps and each steps already we have defined that in this step we have to do this and these steps will be followed by this step so that is what the priority setting also so we will design will develop some states or formula or will arrange some activities in uh, will synchronize the activities and accordingly will try to execute in orderly arranged way okay so we will arrange that which activity first after this this activity will come after this this activity will come so that is systematic approach right systematic means we know that now we have to learn this chapter or that chapter first or we know that we have to do this first or what here like for example when we go for eating suppose eating is a one activity okay you are going to cafeteria for food okay 
so when you go for food so what is your first order outside there so when you order the food the first thing that you know that i am going to order the food i will eat the food breakfast okay or lunch so what is the first activity you know that first i have to go and wash my hand right why you have you have you follow this that washing your hand because washing hand is to make your hand germ free so that there will be no bacteria no germs and will not enter into your body okay to avoid any kind of disease clear prevention is better than cure so we know the first activity is washing the hand here even if you go to some place they will give you water first you wash and then they will serve you so sometimes when you go they will give you water and first they will give you even water to drink also so that if there is any dry your suppose if it is dry then what will happen the water will make it wet so that you can eat easily you can swallow the things easily it will go inside so first little we drink then we will start eating do you understand so there are many process then what you need to eat huh? with injera what you eat and after completion of this what you need to do how again you will wash your hand right so you know the activities you know you have arranged so there is systematic way of taking breakfast or meals similarly there is systematic way of arranging any so you have the you have arranged the things that which will come first which will come last that is systematic and there is system now you understand the difference here we are using the system we come we acquire the information are uh, not only acquiring the informations to understand the system but also we take the help of the computer system and other systems to execute the work now is clear now comprehensive approach comprehensive approach is approach where we try to cover almost all different dimensions of act uh, different dimensions of whether is you can say plan or whether it's a, it's not like that only we focus on the one the like system or something here we focus on different dimensions okay different stakeholders which is involved directly indirectly we follow we think about the nature we think about the environment we think about the all different thing we think comprehensive approach means we think about all scientific approach it it consists of scientific it consists of system it consists of all so comprehensive approach we think about in broader scope when we plan in broader scope broader sense then that is what comprehensive approach keeping in view all different elements all factors okay of environment or with this political factor with this environmental factor economical factor social factor technological factors do you understand so this is what we take care about all the factors in comprehensive approach system factors okay systematic factors that is what is that so we think about the broader sense broad planning that is what comprehensive planning we don't try we never try to miss even a single components in comprehensive plan okay comprehensive means broad scope we think about broader scope not a narrowing our things okay we think we are starting here but we think in global level no what is happening in global so that should be here so we think about global level planning means this should meet the global requirement also international requirement international standard also comprehensive when it comes for integrated planning so integrated planning means your activity is not only integrated within yourself that particular activities okay that you are going to launch but it should be also integrated with other activities which is indirectly connected with the, this tourism activity now you understand my point so you should integrate the other whether you are going to include the uh, agriculture community like for example you start something a hotel resorts so for that you require food okay raw materials from where you will buy you will buy from the local village so they will also get benefit okay you will also get benefit so integrated approach means you are trying to connect the environment you are trying to connect the local communities you are trying to connect the all different people so you are trying to integrate your activities not only with you your plan within your planning one plan is connected with another other plan is connected with this but also you are trying to integrate with with the other sectors okay whether it's airline sector whether it's a hotel sector whether it's a government whether it's a tour operators so you are trying to agriculture sector so you are trying to connect your things with other sector also clear so that you can take the mutual benefit is that clear to you okay that is what the integrated approach now it comes for the environmental approach what is environmental approach environmental approach we always think about the future okay we think about the nature when we plan so planning should be in such a way 
so that available resources, natural and cultural resources, should not be used up. Okay? It should not be used up and it should not be exhausted. Means there is no nothing is left. It must be available for continuous use for the future people, future generation. Okay? It must be available for future generations to utilize it. That is what the environmental approach. Environmental approach is the most important approach in ecotourism. Because we think that, okay, wildlife, tree and all, it should remain for someone. Okay? We should not damage. We are using and we don't think about the future generation. Clear? So, we always think about the sustainable, whether it's a culture, whether it's a nature. Like, for example, we see that now culture is changing in Gambela. When we visit, we see that they are transforming. They are adopting modern culture. A time will come, whether you are Romeo or any other zone in Gambela or any other zone, a time will come when we will not see their culture. I understand my point. When you, after 20 years, people will visit, they will feel that everywhere is same. Their culture is gone. Uh, everywhere is wearing modern days, they are wearing and all. All are like, looking like Americans or Europeans. There is no Ethiopia. Or no Gambela, or no Aroma, or no. Do you understand my point? So, how to save the culture? That is also a useful thing. When we go for ecotourism, when we take our ecotourists, ecotourists maybe they are from different country to come. So, they should not give impact in such a way that they will be impressed. Okay. Oh. The, that oh, their culture is very good. So I will leave my culture, local communities will try to leave their culture and they will adopt their culture. Okay? Foreign culture. This should not be happened. Clear? So you must teach your tourists or you must instruct your tourists that when you go there, you try to participate yourself and you try to appreciate and honor their culture. That is very important. Okay? So generating awareness, uh, generating honor, respect, of regarding their culture is also one of the activity environmental. Do you understand? Approach. Environmental planning approach. Where we think about the wildlife conservation, protection, environmental impact, on-site, off-site. All this we try to do. Okay? We have to think. Not only about present. Okay, presently I am happy. We are not worrying about future. It must remain for future. Clear? That also we have to think. How to save it for the future use. Environmental approach. Next is community in approach. Community approach of planning, where whenever we plan, we think to involve the local community in that plan. We try to meet with them, we'll collect the ideas from there, we'll try to put their opinions that what they think about this ecotourism activity, whether they are interested, if not, how to generate, how to motivate them to involve in such types of planning activities. Now you understand my point? So that is very important when it comes for the uh, environmental planning. Clear? So, uh, sorry, uh, community community planning. So community planning involves what? It, 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 it says that whenever you plan, you have to involve the local community of that particular area. Clear? In that particular plan. You must ask, you must go for asking their opinion. You must take their opinions, their ideas, what they feel, how they feel. Okay? So that is what is very important. Clear? So, to involve the community, whether it's to provide them job or whether it's a souvenirs or any other items, whether whatever you are going to design or to sell from your outlets, okay? That should be, you must involve community to develop that or to design or to, for example, for example, uh, like for example, uh, embroidery works or craft, art and craft. So, you must try to involve the local community in art and craft must try to sell their products okay so how to promote their products their culture if suppose there is a need or demand come from tourists or you think that only tourists are going to the buy the lake tana they are not coming to gambela why because gambela has not that kind of attraction gambela has different attraction every area has every area every destination is different in terms of environment in terms of culture in terms of natural attractions, okay, or man-made attractions. Every destination is different, clear? So, if suppose demand is there, the more tourist is going to buy there, so you think that why not to develop a lake tana or bring lake tana over here because they want to see lake tana. Or certain bird is available, so they want to go or they want to go to Ras Dasan to see the uh, Jalida Babund or you can say that Red Fox or something like that, uh, Walia Abex or something. So, is it possible? To bring them. No, because the nature is different, geography is different, altitude is different. So, whatever is available there may not be available and you can't bring it also 
some time. Maybe some animal you can bring, right? But again, to adopt that animal in this environment is difficult. Maybe you will bring and it will die. So, what is implementable? Whenever you plan, that plan should be achievable. That plan should be implementable. That plan should be achievable. How to achieve? If it can't be achieved, it is useless. Clear? So, whatever policy, plan you do or you formulate, it must be implementable. So, implementable approach says that, that whenever we develop or whenever we do, we think the things which is implementable. Okay? And that implementation as per the time limitation. There must be time limit with the implementable things. Time frame as per the cost, facilities, amenities, materials, it should be in proportion to the time. Clear? Suppose what you are planning today, in today's scenario or what you are planning in 2022 may not be applicable after one year. Clear? Possible. Or what you plan today may not be applicable after 20 years. Or possible, or this is also possible that what you plan today may be applicable even after 20 years. Or it can go, it will be applicable throughout the years till the earth is there. Like, like for example, we plan for natural resource conservation or environment protection, ecological balance. So this plan is can be achieved and it is implementable till the earth is there, till the person or people are there on this earth. Clear? Do you understand my point? So certain plan can exist for longer duration, but certain plans may not be applicable next year. Like for example, there were certain things happen in Corona, Corona time. Okay. So what the plan we like for example improving the health infrastructure, more hospitals. So that will give benefit in coming year also. Right? Clear? Coming year also. But there are certain things which is not required in coming year. That is also possible. But suppose Corona is now Corona, automatic Corona came. Okay? You plan that disease, vaccine must be given or this, this precaution must be taken. So you plan but nobody implemented it. Okay? <coughs> they are going to implement after Corona. Okay, Corona, many people died. Now they want to implement after one year. Is it good? No. So your plan should be implementable. What you plan for Corona may not be applicable maybe next year. Because that was designed as per the disease. Clear? Suppose you plan that the vaccine is to need to be developed for the Corona disease. So that can you give that vaccine for the chicken pox? Any other disease? No. That vaccine is only for the, has been designed and developed for certain disease. Clear? So you can't give it to any other disease. So that is what, when you design whatever you plan, it must be implemented on time. It must be implemented on time. There should not be delay. Delay means denied. So when you plan, it must be, there must be time frame that it must be implemented with a time frame. Why? Because suppose today we are planning that 40 bill today we, we plan that when we restaurant open means suppose 40 bill for 1 kg potato 1 kg dinich or whatever is 40 bill 40 bill for 1 kg dinich so 40 bill for 1 kg today okay is it possible this to implement next year if because inflation will increase today you plan that 40 bill you have written but if you forget to mention that no, no, if you are going to increase because every year 10% to 20% inflation minimum is possible. Means if this year is 40, maybe next year it will be 60 bill 1 kg. Then it's, what you will do? A ruse is 80, suppose it's a samanya for 1 kg, then it will go to the uh, maybe more than mato bill or something like next year. Because inflation increase. See, Katama, 5 bill was there, Amist bill. To go to Katama from university. Now how much they are giving? Survey. How many months? Last time only you came. No. After two months you return back. You went for two months to your home. You return back. How much you are paying? Double. You are paying? Double. So the plan you, you thought two months ago may not be implementable now after two months. So political due to political instability, security problem, inflation rate, 
it may not so whatever you plan there must be time frame of implementation clear so this is what we talk about the different types of approach what is the eco tourism planning how to plan it then there are various approach that we can you know initiate for the planning of it depends on what we are going to plan clear but whenever you plan if you take care about all the elements that will be very good plan okay if you take care about all the different stages or approach then your plan will be very good or you can say comprehensive approach or any other approach but comprehensive approach sometimes may not be good because when you are going to work at the small level comprehensive approach is good when you think about broader level very big plan okay national level international level regional level but when you just think about the gambela town level planning so you should go for or you think about the only gambela national park level planning so you can think about environmental community implement any other integrated planning approach when but when you think about the broader throughout the country there are many national park many things so we are i'm thinking in broader sense than comprehensive plan so that is what the major difference in system systematic comprehensive and all hope you understand this point clear similarly you have the scale e0 to e0 to e5 environment friendly scale 0 to 5 clear where we think about how to plan huh? how to to whether your eco tourism activities is in line with the is in line with the environmental conservation resource conservation environment protections environment impact assessment social and cultural aspects so whether your plan is in line with all this elements or factors or not so how to measure your eco tourism activity so to measure this there is a scale that scale is known as eco scale eco environment planning scale clear so what is through that we plan e0 to e5 where e is where is e5 is most efficient which is which means that the particular activities consist or fulfill all the important requirements it consist of energy conservations wind energy is using the energy is is consist of energy conservation means what we are using the solar energy wind energy to run the to get the power supply okay that is what or it is it consist of recyclable things means what the material that we are using is eco friendly like instead of using this plastic bottle we are using some different bottle which can be disposed clear this plastic is very difficult to dispose if you throw it it will not dispose and it will pollute the environment clear so instead of plastic bottle what you should use we can use the bottle or if you use the bottles so we will use it again and again instead of buying the next one why not to use the same bottle just refill it with water and use it again clear till it is going to destroy that is one method or instead of plastic bottle we are using the steel bottle or we are using the some for example like uh, uh, paper or something whatever paper is also environment it's not environment friendly because if you want to design anything of paper on paper based so you have to cut the trees and other right so what you are going to use it must be environment friendly so e5 scale which is the e5 is the top and e0 is the first so first scale says that where your that program that the tourist eco tourist are little aware about that that particular activities means you are trying to generate awareness regarding the eco tourism how much awareness is there among the tourist okay that represents the e0 level okay that whether tourists little bit are aware about the eco tourism or whether this program is that this program that you are going to launch it has some eco tourism components or not so if it is only the tourist is aware okay but they are not ready but they are not doing they are not involving themselves okay or the activities wherever you are taking them that process itself uh, if it is not going to involve it doesn't involve the any other types of environmental Uh, conservation or protection components that is e0 level okay tourist is traveling but they are not that much concerned about the or sensitive about the the issues they know that but but the other organizations are also not that much sensitive tourists are aware but other organizations like for example 
tourists know that okay we are the eco tourists but they are staying in the hotels which is not eco friendly they are traveling okay uh, in a vehicle which is more polluted even some places they can walk so that kind of sensitiveness is not there okay or even the product that is going to offered by the travel agency or tour operators that kind of things are not there that's why it's a g0 lowest level of environmental planning certification this kind of certification e0 certification e5 is the highest certification to any tour operator or program ecotourism product